Hi, beautiful earth angels. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of videos on sharing with you the magic of scripting because I have been promoting scripting for a little while. And um, especially that I am using this magic on a personal level and seeing, you know, just how beautiful <laughs> it is to uh, manifest and finally, you know, because like I, I stated before, um, I've been trying to use a law of attraction for many years and it was like uh, sometimes, you know, it was a more like a hit or miss type thing. I talk about this all in the awakening. As soon as I get um, the awakening, the book, I will, of course, make a video and share it with you. But you could uh, you don't have to wait for me to get it because I won't get it till mid September. You could go over to Amazon and just look up, you know, The Awakening by Daisy Fabello. I should link it below the videos, but just in case um, you could find it. Now, uh, as you may see right in front of me, I'm going to share with you something beyond the, the scripting because I share with um, about this. I talk about this in my The, the Awakening how certain powers have been hidden from us, certain energies, certain divine energies have been hidden from us because they don't want us to realize our potentials and our power. Like we have power. Like the fairies were real. The unicorns were real. Like these were mystical creatures that we interacted with and the controllers did everything that they could do to sabotage that. And this is why... You know, the Atlanteans are no longer with us. This is why the fairies are in another dimension. You know, because as humans, they wanted us to be dense, you know. And it's really sad because here we are created in divine image. And we are filled with fear and hate and anger and chaos. And you just see it. Like when you turn off the news, like that's all you see is the fear and the hatred and everybody has a cause and everybody has a reason and you know and it's just so simple for you to like have peace for you to believe that you have the power to shift your life but yet you you know we all get angry i get angry too you know somebody cuts you off you get pissed you know you'll beep at them you'll maybe you'll tell them to f off it happens you know because sometimes people are just annoying you know you want to just smack them around <laughs> it happens we're allowed to also feel this this is you know and then you'll have gurus and individuals that'll tell you oh don't feel fear because uh, fear is holding you back and and i'm gonna tell you something that no one else will really express to you what is fear so we have emotions we are very emotional creatures. That is divine energy. That is a beautiful gift to have. It's a beautiful gift to have anger, fear. It's an emotion. It's also a way of understanding when things are going to occur in your life. Like premonitions. Like how many times have many of you felt something was off? You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Or you go into a room and you 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 are filled with fear. Or somebody's house. That is the energy telling you something is wrong. Something is off. Maybe you shouldn't go there. Maybe you shouldn't be around this person. Maybe you should take another route. These emotions were part of us. Are part of us to guide us. Now you cannot be consumed by one energy. You can't live your life in fear because then you're not living. You're just consumed. You're in a room or you're hidden. Like I have a client that unfortunately I had to kind of like put like a barrier because she's so consumed by fear that she cannot move forward. And then she feels in her mindset that I'm the outlet. I'm the one that's going to save her. I'm the one that's going to show her and pray for her and do this and that and the other for her. She feels that she has no power, no energy, no connection with divine. Like I have some kind of, I don't know, like I pick up the phone and call divine and say, hey, almighty divine energy, I have this friend over here who needs this, that, and the other. Can you send it to her? Oh, yeah, of course. No, got it, Daisy. Send it right over right now. Thanks for calling. Because, you know, I mean, 
I feel like sometimes that's what they see. And it, you know, and I'm joking about it, but it's very serious because I connect with these energies and I could feel their anguish, their desperation because they want this, they want this, they want this. I haven't gotten this. Oh my God, why haven't I gotten this? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do another spell? Can you do? And it's like, you're getting, you don't see that when you do that. And I get this all the time. This is why I'm sharing, I'm sharing this with you. So I just did, I did this, I do this for myself almost every day, if not every day, beyond my scripting. My life is very spiritual. And I, I talk to a lot of individuals in my circle that are spiritual. And sometimes they off their spiritual wagon or sometimes they get back on and it, not, I mean, even when I was through this major shift that we had, that I was in the hermit expansion mode, because a lot of people are like, oh, we're going into 5D. No, we already went into 5D. We went into 5D this two years ago. 5D. The reason why we are seeing all the chaos is because people can't handle it. They can't handle what they're feeling. They can't handle how to decipher and say, okay, well, this is wrong. What am I going to do about it? So instead of finding a solution, they react. That's what we're seeing. So let's share with you what Spirit told me today. I want to share with you this. I got everything that I got today from Spirit was all about fear. And I feel like, okay, something's going on <clears throat> because... I'm so a couple of days ago, um, someone very close to me had an interaction with a inhuman spirit. This is where the energy of fear is very powerful and very important in your life. I want you to understand fear. I really want you because you have gurus that have gotten all this fame and they're out there telling you that Fear is not real, that you shouldn't believe in fear, that you shouldn't feel it, that you shouldn't this, that you shouldn't that. And I feel that they're huffing and puffing and sharing misinterpretation. So I go into my close um, family member's room. And um, when I, how do I express it? When I, confront these inhuman spirits, these demonic forces, these evil. I do it on their level. So I'm in the room, the lights are all off. I want to be able to see this thing. And if I turn the light on, I'm already light, I'm pure light. So if I turn the light on, I just become even brighter, so they know that I have a certain gift. I won't reveal any of this stuff here because it's not for anybody to know or understand. I just want to express to you, when I go into the room, I am filled with fear. There is so much fear. I could feel it. I could smell it. I could taste it in my mouth. That's how much fear there was because these inhuman energies, they are fear. They're fear-based. So here I am and I go into this room and like I, I could, exp you know, like I'm expressing to you, you feel this, this fear. And I have created extremely powerful spiritual remedies that I add divine energy to Archangel Michael. I'm using these elements from Gaia, from our earth. These elements, these purities in combination to distort these elements so they cannot, because these fear-based and human spirits, are, they're also an element. They're also a vibration. They're just not in a vibration that we want because they inflict fear over us. So it would not really reveal itself to me because of what I you know, expressed to you, but I could seal it. I could see it, I could smell it, and I could feel it. And I took away its power and I, you know, demanded and declared and commanded for it to leave. And then I turned the lights on and then I did, started doing the cleansing and, and everything. 
my phone is charged, needs to be charged. So fear is not always bad. It is an emotion to express something to you. Now, everything that I will show you today that has came up to me today has been about fear. The first one with the divine name that I received, and it's um, fearless. And it says, life is not about coping with fears. It is not about surviving bouts of anxiety or just working our way through panic, panic attacks. Life is about achieving absolute happiness. Can we see this? Can we understand this? Can we take this in? Life is about achieving absolute happiness. Complete freedom and true fulfillment. Don't settle for less. Do not settle for less. And since ask yourself, what are you afraid of? The courage to conquer your fear now rises within you by, I think it says, perceiving, product, productively confronting your fears at the seed level. It says, you pull them out by the roots, just like you do weeds. You extriple them. He says, look it up. <laughs> From its entirely, from its being. So when you are consumed by fear, that's negative. That's what you don't want. That's what you want to turn off. Then let's continue. This is all today. It says... No, is that it? Hold on. Wow. It's not even let me show you. Here we go. Nope. Jeez Louise. Where did I write it? Here you go. If you're stuck in a foggy or complicated circumstance, expect a sudden revelation or dis disillusionment. You may be suddenly awakened from unrealistic notions. Long kept secrets will be revealed. New facts exposed in the unexpected clarity. I'm sharing with you this because, and I wrote it on the top, from the 17th of September, 2020, get your calendars right now, pause the video, go get your journal, your calendar, your phone, so you could put it in there, an alarm to blare, really important. From the 17th through the 22nd, you must do everything that you possibly can to balance yourself, okay? Get your scripting. Some of you already have my journals. You don't have to get my journal. Get your own journal. Lots of pages. And I want you to start setting goals. A lot of people think the New Year's is January. I feel the New Year's is always in October for me. That is when I set my goals for the upcoming year. This new this October is so filled with positive energy. The world's under chaos. It's going to continue to be under chaos, but you are living in happiness because you are now declaring that you will live in bliss, that you will live in happiness. It is your choice, my friends. It is not the president's choice or your leader or your school or your church or your spouses or your siblings or anyone in your life but you. It is your choice to decide whether you are going to use fear to help you as an emotion or are you going to be consumed by it? Your choice. So I want you to really grasp this and understand this because what I am sharing with you is the awakening. And sometimes we need to listen to things a couple of times because our subconscious tends to click 
certain levels at different times. So what you grasp from this video as you're sitting here today and listening through these divine energy words, because this is not Daisy, this is divine energy coming through because this, this is what divine does. This is what divine shares with me and I run over and share with you. My happiness is your happiness because even though that I am in a different paradigm and different um, reality from you, I've been, and I, and, and I hated that I took a lot of videos out because I shared that with you all a long time ago. You know, many of us, we live in different realities from the people surrounding us. You need to make your own reality now. You need to have the courage. You need to remove demonic forces and inhuman spirits from your house if you know that they are there. I have tools to help you, but you can do this yourself. If you need the extra help, no problem. I have the tools. I have the stuff. I'll give you the directions. But do not allow fear to run your life. Happiness is what you're aiming for. Happiness is the true reality. Happiness is what the Messiah came to teach us, what the many Messiahs came to teach us. Because it wasn't just one. We've had many enlightened beings come into our world and share with us this information. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to huff and puff like some of these other people that I listen to. And I'm just like, Lord, what, what trip are they on? Telling you that, oh, don't listen to the government or you're trying to be controlled. No one could control you. They might be able to hypnotize you for a little while. But I am sharing with you the awakening. I am sharing with you a prayer, power words, that unless they give you surgery or shock therapy on you, or you can't be controlled. Because if that was the case, the inhuman spirits, we wouldn't be humans anymore. We would just have parasites like, you know, venom. I mean, doesn't mean that some of us don't. Doesn't mean some of us are walking demons, aliens, people, individuals of high beings. They all walk among us. I will say that you have the power to change your life. Even if you have demonic forces around you, lower vibrational, you know, energies, individuals that are just, ugh. Even so, I do not have a phone to divine. This is a frequency. Yes, my frequency might be more connected because I am on another level. But you could achieve the higher power. A lot of you are not even in the second. You're still in the first. And I laugh at some that are like, oh my God, because you know I'm in the fifth dimension. and uh, Yet their life is stuck they're consumed by their fears by their anxiety what's the latest i'm anxious i have anxiety oh i was diagnosed with anxiety we all have anxiety when did that become a diagnosis everyone every single person babies have anxiety Don't allow it to consume you. Don't declare that you have anxiety because you've just, that's it. You're under your, your name. You're, you might as well put on your forehead anxiety. This is who I am. No, happiness, abundance, wealth, perfect health, love, shift it. From anxiety to calm, to peace, to healing. You know, take baby steps. You don't, it's not going to happen overnight. I used to have panic attacks. In 1998, I sat down with my journal and cried to God. I said, I can't live like this. I don't want to be consumed by this feeling, this fear. Show me the way. And God showed me. 
God took me to the book that I needed to read at that moment that changed my life. And from then on, yeah, we have moments. I have moments. We all do. But it's a moment. It's a little time frame. It's a day that I might spend in bed because I don't feel good, because my vibration is not great. It's time for me to do a seesaw bath. Let me take out my heels, my bombs. I have right next to my bed, my healing bomb. I will be creating new ones for the this new moon energy. Created masses of it for um, the blue moon. This is my Xanax, Prozac, whatever you want to call it. Heal for all. Every time I send you all this, I, I can't even express your expressions. <laughs> I mean, the messages that you guys send me is just like, and it makes me so happy because I am, this is my purpose. Being able to send you tools so you could find your healing, your calm, your peace, your happiness. Thank you all for watching my channel. And I know this has <laughs> this has to have been the one of the longest videos that I've created, but um you need to know this. From the 17th to the 22nd, your circumstance needs to be happiness. When you find yourself in a rut, not feeling good, take a sea salt bath. I have them in my shop. Um, use the bombs, use the oils, inhale them, put them in, in sprays. I have little spray bottles that um, I use. I put some drops of my oils with moon water or even sun and moon water because I use both crystal water and I just spray it all over the house. You could do this. You're not alone. Don't forget to share uh, Google Plus, pin, like, comment, because this gets the videos out to other people. Thank you again. And welcome to the awakening. You have a blessed week.